Welcome to the Common Man Football Show. My name is James Coburn, and today's episode, uh, we're talking about the Pittsburgh Steelers versus Houston Texans Week 16 matchup based on analytics. Each week, I like to collect all of the current 2017 NFL team data in order to analyze and project potential NFL performance. And since it's a weekly collection, there's always going to be some variation between various data points. However, uh, there's always going to be little nuggets of truth that could become bigger nuggets of truth as the season continues. So stick around as I analyze each week's matchups based on analytics. And if you're new to the channel, all terms and definitions will be in the description. So starting with this matchup between the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Houston Texans. Uh, when it comes to the NFL stat basic comparison data and basic comparison data uh, essentially deals with the basics, uh, deals with uh, how the offense is doing, how the defense is doing, and of course how the special teams is doing um, based on various team statistics. And when you look at all this information, the data pretty heavily favors the Pittsburgh Steelers. It shouldn't be very surprising, uh, but let's just go through it real quick in terms of why the Steelers are so heavily favored. Um, first off, the Steelers just have the superior offense. Uh, when it comes to turnover ratio, um, sack percentage, which is basically the amount of sacks that, that you allow on offense, um, and offensive score percentage, you know, how often do you put points on the board per drive? All those factors heavily favor the Steelers, just a much more competent, better offense. And as a result, uh, the, the Steelers are heavily favored there. But on top of that, defensively speaking, the Steelers also have a fairly clean sweep as well. Uh, the Steelers have better defensive offensive score percentage, better turnovers, better sacks, and better interceptions when it comes to the overall data uh, when it comes to defense. So all those areas as well uh, mostly favor the Steelers uh, from that kind of perspective uh, on defense, uh, which again is not should not be that surprising either because the Steelers have had a fairly decent defense. Um, when you get to special teams though, the Texans do have a couple wins. Uh, the Texans have better punt return yardage, better kick return yardage, whereas the Steelers have better defensive punt return yardage and better defensive kick return yardage. The Steelers also have a better field goal percentage and a better extra point percentage. Uh, and the Texans have a better punting average. Uh, as far as who has the better special teams, it is the Steelers, uh, mainly because the number one special team statistic that matters the most when it comes to winning football games, as I say every single week, is field goal percentage. Uh, it, it's the one that has the most impact. If you have a higher field goal percentage, you typically are going to be winning more football games. And uh, it, there's clearly a major difference uh, when it comes to that particular data point uh, between uh, the Steelers and the Texans. So uh, in many ways, the Steelers are just a clean sweep. Uh, they have the better offense statistically, they have the better defense, and they also have the better special teams. All those areas heavily factor into things. Uh, now, when you get into some other sort of data points, so now we're going to get into some uh, micro matchups uh, down in distance data if you will in terms of various uh, kind of data points here first off we're going to get into some completion percentage data uh, between the Houston Texans and the Pittsburgh Steelers uh, and when you look at this information uh, it's pretty clearly the Steelers defense um, has the advantage here on first down second down and third down when it comes to completion percentage um, so this definitely is another example of the potential dominance uh, that the Steelers can have in this game uh, based on the overall data. Uh, and then, of course, when you get to the next uh, area where you look at the Steelers' offense versus the Texans' defense, uh, the Steelers are pretty favored on first and second down. Um, there definitely is more of a disparity on third down where the Texans are kind of more so favored there. Uh, but overall, the Steelers are favored on first and second. So that's definitely kind of a down and distance where most of that kind of favors them in that area uh, for the most part. Uh, and then, of course, we get to a first down conversion rate with the run. Uh, again, first down conversion rate with the run um, has really nothing to do with yardage or uh, explosive plays. Uh, but mainly just has to do with, with again, if it's first and 10, uh, if you are able to get more first downs or prevent first downs on defense, uh, then you score higher essentially when it comes to this. So it's it's all about basically preventing first downs from happening uh, with the run. 
Uh, when you look at this particular area, the Steelers are favored on first and third down. So the Steelers defense, uh, another area where they should have some success, uh, basically stifling the run a bit in this particular game. Then, of course, uh, you get to the Steelers offense versus the Texans defense when it comes to rushing downs. Uh, and in this particular area, uh, the Texans defense is actually favored on all three downs. So um, the one area of the Texans defense which actually has a lot of success uh, potential is in those areas when it comes to rushing downs, you know, when it comes to first down, second down, and third down um, for the most part there. So um, definitely more, uh, more so kind of favors the Texans here when it comes to, uh, uh, you know, the, these uh, data points. Uh, and then, of course, you get to passing downs uh, where you'd have the uh, Houston Texans offense versus Steelers defense. Uh, and in this area, the Steelers defense is pretty much sweeps it on first, second, and third down. Uh, so pretty much every single major down, the Steelers defense will, will have a lot of success or should have a lot of success against this Texans offense, uh, which kind of further kind of proves why the Steelers are so heavily favored in this game is because of their offense and, of course, because of their defense. Uh, and then, of course, you look at the Steelers offense versus the Texans defense when it comes to passing downs. Um, this more so favors the Steelers offense uh, on first and second down. Um, third down is more of a toss-up here, uh, but definitely more so kind of favors the Steelers here when it comes to first and second down uh, for them for the most part. Uh, and then, of course, we get to sack rate uh, between the Houston Texans offense and the Steelers defense, uh, where the Steelers are favored on first, second, and third down uh, when it comes to those particular areas. Uh, so again, major, major, major downs and distances for the Steelers to have a lot of success. Uh, I would not be surprised to have multiple sacks in this game uh, based on uh, how the data is kind of shaping up right now for the Steelers. And then, of course, you look at the Steelers offense versus the Texans defense. Uh, when you look at this particular area, the Steelers are pretty much favored on first, second, and third down uh, when it comes to uh, this area so I don't really expect too many sacks to happen for the Steelers offense they've been pretty decent at preventing sacks this year and I think that'll carry over in this game as well uh, and then of course you look at interception ratio uh, between the Houston Texans offense and the Steelers defense uh, where the Steelers defense is favored on second and third down so again another area where the Steelers defense in particular is just going to have a lot of success where they should have a lot of success in this game in terms of getting turnover sacks uh, preventing passing plays, etc. And then finally, you look at the Steelers offense versus the Texans defense when it comes to interceptions. Uh, and in this particular area, pretty much favors the Texans defense on second and third down. Um, this is kind of more, this is one of the, I wouldn't say Achilles heel, uh, but definitely an area where the Steelers have had some struggles this year is too many picks on second and third down um, situations for them. Uh, so that's definitely kind of an area of some concern in terms of turnovers and those other sort of aspects of things. Uh, so overall opinions about this game. Uh, I think it's a Steelers victory. Uh, I think it should be pretty obvious based on data. But uh, when you just look at every single facet of this game, you know, you go down the list of, of offense, defense, special teams. Uh, you go through all the micro matchups that we just went through. Um, I don't see very many scenarios where the Houston Texans are going to end up winning this football game. Um, and there's definitely, there's always a shot. I mean, there's always a chance that things could be different. However, I just don't see it in this game. But let me know in the comment section below, who do you believe is going to win this football game? And of course, uh, my name is James Coburn. Uh, you can find my other work at draftcoburn.wordpress.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at Geometrics, and if you like this content and you want more content like this, uh, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, share this video as well uh, with anybody that you know, and hit that notification button uh, to be notified about another video that comes out, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.